Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Emily and this is Ansley. And what are we gonna draw and paint today? We're gonna paint and draw today a panda. Today for our paper, we're using Fluid 100, 140 pound cold pressed cotton paper. It's important to use cotton paper if you wanna to try to get the same results that we're gonna be going for here today. I have a watercolor palette in front of me. These are just two paints that I squeezed out, but you can use any watercolors you have on hand. The most important thing when you're watercolor painting is just to have good paper. We each have a watercolor brush, a pencil, a Sharpie, paper towel, water jars, and I think that's all we need, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now to start we're gonna decide on the size of the head of the panda and you can actually use an object like a cup or something round that you have laying around your house to trace the circle shape for the head of the panda. So I'm gonna start and I'll let you do it after I do. We're gonna start with the head of the panda and we're just gonna trace a nice perfect little circle. It's important to not press too hard with your pencil in case you make a mistake. And so the circle is going to be the panda's head. Try to make it right in the middle of the paper. There we go. Okay. <laughs> a couple little extra marks. Good job erasing those. So there's our panda's head. That was easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to add the ears. And for the ears, we're going to add round little shapes sticking out of the head. Make sure that they're big enough compared to the size of the head. You don't want them to look like super tiny little ears, but you don't want them to be Mickey Mouse ears either. All right, now the ears are gonna be black, so we don't have to worry about any other details inside of the ears, but pandas have really distinctive round black spots around their eyes, don't they? Mm -hmm. So to decide on the eyes, Let's draw a little dot in the center of our circle, just so we can see where the middle of the head is. For the eyes, we're just gonna draw a tiny little circle away just to the left and to the right of your little dot. Try to make them the same distance away from your dot. Now look, did I make them the same distance or is this one further away? This one's a little further away, so I'm gonna push it a little closer to the center dot. Just a little closer. Good, and you can draw a little highlight. We'll leave that white when we go back with our black. So a teeny tiny circle inside of the eye. Now, that's the eye itself, but pandas have these big round shapes around their eyes that are black, right? So let's draw that next. We're gonna draw all around the eye and then increase the shape so that it goes under the eye, almost like a peanut. Does that look like a peanut? Mm -hmm. And they'll do that on both sides of the head. Good. The next thing is to draw the nose. The nose is shaped like a long triangle with the long side of the triangle on the top. So draw it towards the bottom of your circle, just underneath your peanut shapes, right in the center of the head. And you see how it's a triangle shape, but the longest side of the triangle is on the top, like an upside down coat hanger. There you go. Good. All right, and then for the mouth, we're just gonna draw a little half circle and connect it to the middle of the nose. And then another little half circle on the other side, connected to the middle of the nose. And I'm gonna draw a little line here. This part of the panda is gonna be white, but this is to show the shape of the panda's muzzle. Oh, okay. You see that? So I'm drawing this shape all around the mouth, connecting it up to those peanut eyes. <laughs> It's kind of wider on the side. Good. There's your panda's muzzle. Nice job. Next, we're gonna start to draw the body and we're not gonna draw the whole body. This is mostly gonna be a portrait of the panda. So we're focusing on a panda's head, panda's mm -hmm. face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so to make just a suggestion of the body, we're gonna draw a couple lines on either side connecting the head, but it just looks like his shoulders sloping down. Do you see that? All right, so that's all we're gonna do for the drawing part. For the bamboo, we're just gonna be using our paint brushes. Let's set our pencils aside, grab your Sharpie, and for the Sharpie portion, fill in your ears completely black. And then you can draw the top of the head and the sides of the head. 
and then outline the eyes and leave the highlight white. And then fill in the black part of the eye. And then I'm filling in the nose. You want to leave a highlight on the nose you can and then it'll look a little bit shiny. And then the body. All right and we'll use black paint to finish the body but the first thing we're going to paint is the bamboo around the panda. Since pandas are just black and white we already did most of the work didn't we with our black sharpies. Mm -hmm. So now grab your brush and we're going to use this green right here. I'm going to spray it so that it's nice and juicy. And to do the bamboo, I'm going to dip my brush in the water, remove the excess water, and then swirl my brush in the green paint so that I have lots of juicy paint on the brush. I want it to be really beautiful jungle green. I might add a little water in there so it's not quite so dark. Now watch how I do the bamboo. We're going to do it in little sections like this. So I'm going to take my brush up here in the corner and lay it flat and pull it and then let go and leave a little space and then make a line like that with separations between. Oh, like the strategy we used for, for the rows. Almost, but with little straight lines. And this is showing the separation between the bamboo because bamboo has these segments in it, doesn't it? It has little separations in it. It's not just a straight line all the way down. So why don't you try it? You can do it over here, or over here, wherever you want to put your bamboo. Yes, I'm having a couple stems come in front of his body and then behind him. So keep adding as much bamboo stems as you want. And then once we've got the stems down, we'll add some leaves. You ready to add some leaves? Mm -hmm. Okay, for the leaves, you can go in an opposite direction. Try to attach them to your stalks and maybe just do two leaves at a time coming out of your stalks. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're gonna do skinny lines and then fat line, and then you release it to make it skinny again, like that. Okay. Just like we practiced last time, the rows. Looks like he's in the jungle, huh? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna make some bushes like you. All right, next we're gonna finish the body of the panda. This is black over here. So we'll swirl our brush in the black. Yes, rinse the green out first. And then I'm just gonna paint, it's harder for me because I put grass in front of it, I put bamboo in front of the panda, but you didn't. So just paint a little bit of black underneath the panda's head. Okay. And this is to show his black fur on his chest. Try to paint around your leaves. I don't want to cover them all up. I like that. It's like he's grabbing the bamboo to eat it. I'll say that I'm done right now. I like it. Okay, rinse your brush. And then the last thing we're going to do for Panda is add a little bit of shading to his face. And a little bit of shading with some tan color. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of my tan and then grab a little of that tan. Mine looks green still. And then with your tan, we're just gonna paint on the bottom part of the head. That's too dark. Dipped in the water and then remove some of it on my paper towel. So I'm just carefully painting a shadow on the bottom of the head. So see how I'm painting tan just along the bottom of the circle? Okay. And that's helping the panda's head look nice and rounded. And then you can do a tiny little bit of yellow. Oh my goodness, mine is green. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my brush has so much green in it. Hey. Oh well, it's picking up the reflection of the bamboo all around it. Okay, so now the panda looks nice and rounded. And to soften the edge, you can take a cleanish brush and just scrub along it so it doesn't look like just this hard cutoff point. 
See, I'm lifting some of the paint back up around that edge. <laughs> okay, the last thing is to add some, let's add some splotchy jungle green colors. And to do that, we're just gonna take some of that watered down green and tons of water, so your brush is almost dripping. Look at this, just oh dripping. And I'm just gonna do some big drips, big circle shape, super wet. Just don't let it touch any of your paint that's still wet, otherwise it'll all flow together. Okay. So in areas that are dry, you can do some of this spatter. So look what happened when I touched my wet paint. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> It ran everywhere. <laughs> just kind of paint it around your bamboo. You can paint it over the top. We're just starting to make it look even more jungle-like. So I'm even going over the top of the leaves I already painted. Okay, I'll do that. Just not over the panda. So good, he looks really cute, Ansley. What do you think of your panda? I think it's really good. I like that. And it's really helping fill it out and make it look like a green, green jungle. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Awesome. So we'll let those dry and then before we remove the tape, and then we'll see how it all came out. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. <laughs> I got the hiccups. <laughs> Subscribe for more silliness.